Welcome to the Planet Pearl video tutorial for the I-Cord bind off. Our supplies, a swatch, two double pointed needles, and some contrast yarn. Now we're going to bind this off with an I-Cord and normally you would just be using the same yarn unless you were changing colors, which we're going to do. So just leave a tail there, you'll work that in later. And what we're going to do is we're going to add as many stitches as we want our I cord to be with a knitted cast on, which we have a separate video for that, for a knitted cast on. And in this case, I'm going to cast on four stitches. So the yellow is, or the yellow stitches here, that's the color of what you're going to cast, you're going to do the cast off with, or the bind off with. So now we're going to be working with three needles, two double pointed needles, and the needle that's currently holding our stitches. So what we're going to want to do is incorporate those red stitches into the I cord that we're now going to knit. So if you haven't knit I cord, of course, go watch the I cord video. But so we're going to knit onto the double pointed needle, our first three stitches, and then we're going to knit together the, ye the yellow I cord stitch with the first live stitch of the red. So we're going to incorporate that red stitch into our I cord. Then, just like regular I cord, we're going to slide the stitches to the other end of the double pointed needle, pick up your second double pointed needle, and now you're going to work those yellow stitches just like it was I cord on the two double pointed needles for those first three stitches. Now we have one stitch left, so we need to go pick up that last red stitch, which is the first live stitch there, and we're going to slide it on to the end of the double pointed needle so that we can knit those two together as part of the I cord. And then pull the yarn behind just like regular I cord and work the first three stitches on the double pointed needle. Let's see it close up. So using our two double pointed needles, and you can see the needle with the red stitches is just laying behind there. We're going to knit the first three stitches using just the double pointed needles. And then for the fourth stitch, we're going to take that first live stitch or the next live stitch move it to the double pointed needle and knit those two stitches together. And then pull the yarn behind, slide the stitches like regular I cord. We'll knit the first three. We'll go back and pick up the next live stitch. And then knit those two together. So look at what we're doing here. So you see that we're running the I cord. So we have the vertical stitches of the knitting and we're going to run that I cord horizontally across that edge. And you can see the I cord starting back here. So now here we are, magically at the last two stitches. We'll knit the first three using the double pointed needles. And 
and then oh, almost forgot go back and pick up that red stitch and knit it together now we've only have one stitch left so I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the end of the needle and now we'll knit the first three and then knit the last yellow stitch with the last red stitch so what we'll do here now is we're ready to just bind off the i-cord stitches just this is would be the standard bind off you would use for i-cord so we're just going to bind off and this is just a normal bind off nothing special we have this is a bind off in knit which we have a video for this as well and down to the last stitch let's trim our end pull it through we'll weave that end in later and let's look at what we've created here so you see that we have this really lovely i-cord edge at the top this is great if you're going to felt this piece because it gives you a really nice edge that isn't curled in which happens a lot when you're felting stockinette Martha loves this bind off so much she's jumping for joy come visit us soon at planetpearl.com